Hello everyone, this is Mason Haggett from the Casino Co. Official, and today we are going to be reviewing, reviewing the Dino Rivals Mattel Styracosaurus. So let's begin. The paint job is really nice, they did a superb job on the furrow, and they even painted every single one of the horns. The only nitpick I have about the paint job is the toenails. Next is the sculpt. They did a really good job on the sculpt. There's only a few things, the tail is a little short, and the figure in general is really small. For example, here's the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Triceratops, which itself too is a little small compared to how big a Triceratops was. But to be honest, the Styracosaurus should be about as big as this Triceratops. And then for another size comparison, here's the 1993 Kenner Red Rex for literally no reason. All right, and then the action feature. They gave this thing a good action feature. It's about the same as the Fallen Kingdom Triceratops, except for this one, you push down on the tail to make its head go up instead of pushing a button in the middle of the chest. Next is the articulation. I'd say the articulation is pretty decent. It has pivot joints on the legs, so you just uh, can do this. And also, these can have little ball joints on the front here, so let's just do that, yep. You see? Right there. Little ball joint, and they also have 360 motion. Also, the head can move in a full 360, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that is the review of the Dino Rivals Mattel Styracosaurus. If you want to buy it, I think you can find it um, somewhere. It was made five years ago, so yeah, you can find it somewhere. Thank you for watching the Casino Co. Official, and that somewhere should be in the links below. Bye-bye.